It is time to go back to the Operation Gold Center to conclude our mission, check in for one last time, and find out what the final results are. So back to you, Joe. Thanks, John. So we're up to 435. And uh, earlier, we actually deployed Darren Baird up to Farragut North. And so there's one last widget that I'd like to show or share with you is the chat widget. When you're doing a mission, you need to collaborate between the people working within the mission. So I'm going to send a note to Darren and say that Darren made it to Farragut North. <clears throat> and he just posted, I believe the working end of those might just hurt. Let's take a look at what he think might hurt. Ah, oh, we do have some comedians out on our uh, field crew. Okay, Darren's, I mean, <laughs> Brett is <laughs> analyzing some information. We can also see where these people are located. So this is their current position. Again, this is being fed from GeoEvents Processor to give us that last loan location. So Brett's just sent me a graphic. So in our collaboration, he can say, well, maybe Darren needs to head southwest to do some more collection because we need more coverage in that area. Say, OK. So we can send information back and forth, graphics on the map, and be able to interact in that way. And he can also send me different observations that he found interesting. And this is an interesting one, Brass Banana. Let's see where that one's located. So we can highlight that location on the map. And let's show its pop-up. And what could be a Brass Banana? Nice. Looks like somebody did a little shopping while they were out. I'll say nice. And thanks, Brett, for collaborating. So collaboration can be done between multiple users within, the, within different dashboards. So sometimes there are situations where an executive or a commander wants to keep up with what's going on with the mission. And they want to have the ability to keep track, but they can't be in the operations center at all times. So you can build different views, one for the executive, for him to take or her to take out on a lightweight tablet like this Windows tablet, Windows 8 tablet that I have in my hand. So they can keep track of the mission, and we can give them a particular view of just the information they want in the reporting of the mission. So they can interact with the application and see different information about the mission. So, I actually see, based on our map of their current locations, all of our team members seem to be making their way back to the convention center. So we're winding down the operation. But just want to reiterate what we've done this afternoon. We deployed our mobile workforce very quickly. We analyzed and monitored the progress. And we also saw what was happening in real time using ArcGIS. And to be honest, this was really exciting for me and probably the, the most exciting presentation I've ever done on stage at Esri, because we actually got to use real-time GIS data and supported our mission and to the success of the mission. So with that said, I'm going to sign off and conclude our mission for the day and hope you enjoyed it. And for the last time, back to you, John. OK, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Brett. For us, Operation Gold has been an exciting mission and operation. However, the truth is, it's still just an exercise, and we neglected an important concept. We assumed that goal, we assumed that gold only exists in the District of Columbia. What about Maryland and Virginia? How should we expand our mission and operation to cross state boundaries? 